Plays a mean pinball. Stands like a statue, becomes part of the machine. Even on the bumpers, always on the feet. Plays by intuition, teacher can score. I don't know how to wish you plays a mean pinball. Pluckers, I ever saw fingers again <laughs> with a mediocre version of the Who's Pinball Wizard, of course. Okay, um, this is part two of my lessons on this song. The first part I did a couple of days ago purely about the intro. Okay, so this is where it takes over from the intro into the complete song. Okay, um, uh, this bit of a monster <laughs> try and play and sing this at the same time, anyway. But let's get to it. So I'm in standard tuning, uh, no capos, doing it in the same key as the Who, okay? So this is my sort of campfire version, okay? I'm not, there are probably um, more true to life of, uh, versions uh, of it around, but uh, they involve slightly more difficult fingering, I think, okay? So let's get to it anyway. Um, so coming out of the intro, something I didn't show you on the first video uh, on the intro when you come out of that uh, intro you're sort of uh, doing the individual chords and this uh, pedal point note fourth fret of the fourth string show you on the first lesson at that point I went into the uh, that bit okay well there is actually a quick G chord in that just before it goes to the B okay up here on the uh, suspended that bit so coming out of this where it goes um, there's a quick G chord I tend to play it as a G bar chord or you can play it as an F shape if you want third fret, but there is a very quick G chord there, and there it goes. Now, this is my down and dirty sort of way of playing this uh, rhythm bit, okay, on the uh, progression on the verse. And what I'm doing basically, I'm just play I'm using two fingers on the ninth fret on the first chord, the B chord. To make the piece suspended, ninth fret of the fourth string and the third string. So the top string and the second string are open, okay? And what I'm basically doing is I'm putting my thumb over, just resting my thumb on the bottom E string, so I'm muting that. If you can if you can reach it over and mute the fifth string as well, that'd be great, okay? 
just a slight muting if you can on the fifth string but what you want to try and do is try and just strum the four down to one that is ideal okay okay and what you do is you, you start off with that shape two fingers ninth fret fourth string and third string and then put your first finger on the eighth fret of the third string and take your third finger off so you end up like that and it's the same strum but just that shape instead of that shape that's a suspended B and that's just the B chord okay so what you do is this right so it's saying that's perfect but it's something similar okay it's not I mean I don't think anyone's going to play it exactly the same as Pete Townsend okay <laughs> so uh, let's get let's get to it um, so coming out of the say coming out of the intro quick G and then this do that Okay, obviously there is a going on on the second guitar, okay, fifth string, A, bottom B string to seventh fret, okay, but obviously you can't really do that while you're doing this strumming, okay, so you just have to imagine that one, okay, so it starts off with um, two of these, like the when that comes in, it does two more with that bit going on okay so it does four four of those before it goes into the singing okay but I only did two okay so uh, choice is yours so how many two or four times right singing you see to all the young boy I play the ball and just do exactly the same thing but now on the seventh fret so an A, that'd be an A suspended four, and then to an A, and then you do the same for a G on the fifth fret of the fourth and third strings. Okay, so that's ninth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, and then finally the F sharp, which is on the fourth fret. Don't go down two, just go down one on that one. And then, so it's, let's go through this very slowly. Ever since I love the young boy, baby still born. He's so good and bright, I must be old. I hate seeing nothing like him in any music ball. Take time and bank it, sure. Now what I do there is play an F sharp 7 on that. Sure plays on me, because it's just a single stab. Sure plays a mean pin. So it's an F sharp seven. It's just basically an F shape on the second fret, but lift it up. Take your bar off, open top E string, four down to one. F sharp seven. Okay. So let's just do it all the way through. I'll try and get all the way through the intro and then do the first verse for you. Okay, so Since I was a young boy, I played a silver ball. So then I didn't play more. Before we saw him, I didn't know his ball. The tip from a blanket sure plays a mean pin. Okay, that's as far as we've got. And then we go into this. Right, so that's a B chord, B bar chord, really has to be the bar chord, second fret bar, okay, and then the fourth fret of the fourth, third and second strings, barred or three fingers, whichever you want to do, and it's two just nice positive downstrokes, and then to a lazy A, 
I'm just barring the second fret of the fourth, third and second strings with my first finger, open fifth string again, so it's right, so just a single stroke on the A, single down stroke on the A, so it's two on the A on the B, one on the A, and then a D chord. So it's da, 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 da. and two two sort of positives on the uh, downstrokes on the E chord. So it's two on the B, one on the A, one on the D, and then two on the E, and then a bit more strumming on the E. Yeah. So it's repeat, and then you're back to another verse, exactly the same again. He stands like statue, becomes part of a machine, feeling the bumpers, paper and clean, placed by intuition, did you can't spoil, got dead down the blanket, sure plays a mean, repeated ball, again. And the next section is he's a pinball wizard, but it's quite simple. E, you stay on the E, so second time, stay there. He's a pinball wizard, so that's E to F sharp major, second fret major chord, and then the B chord again. Wizard, it has to be. It goes with the words, okay? He's a pinball wizard. He has to be a pinball wizard. And then we go to a G chord. To a D chord, wrist. So it's a G. You can play a G like that if you want. Or a four finger G. As long as it's a G, I tend to play the bar chord myself, but you play whatever G you want. So from the beginning, let's do from coming out of the verse, he's a, uh, he's a pinball, sorry, he's a, uh, no sorry, I've got the wrong bit and I, let's go from this bit. Here we go. He's a pinball wizard, he has to be a twist. Got such a rhythm. Right, when you get to the D, it goes to suspended very quickly twice. So it's pinky goes to the third fret on the D, add, add your pinky to the third fret top E string twice. Got that? So He's a pinball wizard, it has to be a twist. A pinball wizard got such a trouble with. Right, got that far? Right. The next bit is this bit that goes. Um, uh, How do you think he does it? I don't know. Now, what that one playing there is basically a C, sorry, a D to a C, to a G, and back to D. But what I'm doing is keeping the D, and all I'm doing is moving this um, second finger goes up to the third fret. This one stays where it is, third. That stays where it is from the D. I've just put this second finger up to the third fret on the fifth string, hit that note, so it, and put the first finger on the second fret of the third, so you've got C add nine. So first finger goes to the second fret on the fourth string, the D string, and the second finger goes to the third fret on the fifth string, and the third finger is on the second string on the third fret. So basically just need to hit that third on the fifth there, and then go to the second fret of the fifth string, Keeping that one again where it is, third fret, second string with the third finger. It's like a, a, a G, partial G chord. So, how do you think he does it? I don't know. How do you think so good? Look at that. Just three times. How does he think he does it? I don't know. 
what makes him so good. What's that down? Uh, so I'll tell you what we'll do, just do that. Uh, how does you think he does it? I don't know. What makes him so good? Okay, and what happens then is uh, you go back to another verse, okay? So you say, what, what makes him so good? Sorry, thank you so good. Thank you for the instructions. that again it's exactly as it was before G F E to F sharp to B G D and then what happens is he it changes key it goes into D now and you stay on the D and you start doing the, the you know the bit that you did like this that bit but you're doing it on D now instead okay so a little pause and then okay so that's just a D and D suspended adding your pinky to the third fret on the top E string there do so that took a couple of times or how many times you want to do it and then you come in with the last verse even though my three the table Right, and then it goes to a C chord. Now you can play this different ways, but I, what, I, what I did in my lesson uh, or demo was I went to the eighth fret with an F shape. You can't have open strings on this one, unfortunately, because we've changed key now, and you can't have the top string and the B string set open. Okay, so after you've done the D, you go to a C chord on the 8th fret F shape, 8th fret, and put your pinky on the 10th um, fret of the 3rd string. Or you could use a bar chord, C bar chord, 8th fret bar chord, use your pinky on the 10th um, fret of the 3rd string. That's probably quite a good way around it, if, if you can do bar chords. Bar chord C, 8th fret, add your pinky to the uh, 10th fret of the 3rd string and then to a C so do this a couple of times then it's you know my favorite tune all we can do with this is the cycle of the third you can do with this then we go to a B flat 6th fret bar chord with the pinky on the 8th fret of the 3rd string then take it off and make a B flat chord and to an A chord, A suspended 5th fret bar chord pinky on the 7th fret of the 3rd string then take it off to make an A chord so it's B suspended so it's C suspended to C B flat suspended to B flat A suspended to A okay? If you, if you can't do bar chords, then just play the F shape on the 8th fret, pinky on the 10th fret of the 3rd, then take it off, then you move down 2 frets to the 6th fret for an F shape, B flat, suspend uh, pinky on the 8th uh, fret this time, 3rd uh, string, then take it off, B flat, then to an A suspended, A 5th fret this time, F shape, 5th fret, pinky on the 7th fret of the 3rd, and then off. Okay, so... Got that? You know my favourite table, you can be the most. He's a slob of eating, not the little worst. He's got crazy for fingers, never seen him fall. A dead dumb and blank is short. Let's just stop on an A this time. Sure plays a mean pins, however, you want to play F shape. Who plays it or a bar chord A? Sure plays a mean pin, and this time it's 
bit weird, it's a bit different this time, it's D to, it's D to C, so it's, I'm playing a bar chord D, 5th fret bar, because I'm already on the bar chord here with the A, so I'm playing a D like this, bar chord 5th fret, 7th fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd, with 3 fingers or a bar, yeah, then down 2 frets to a C, 3rd fret bar, 5th fret, 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings with 3 fingers or a bar, so it's and then to an F bar chord, right, so it okay, and then finally it goes into this odd bit, it's a B flat 7, so again I've got the bar on the 1st fret from the F, to keep the bar on the 1st fret, put your 3rd finger on the 3rd fret on the 4th string and your pinky on the 3rd uh, fret of the 2nd string. So 3rd finger is on the 3rd fret of the 4th and pinky is on the 3rd fret of the 2nd. And basically you pick it, you just go... And then you go up to a suspended 7th, B flat 7th suspended. Move your pinky up to the 4th fret on the 2nd string. Does that sort of thing backwards and forwards and it fades out basically doing that okay so it goes da -da, da -da. got the idea right so if you can't do bar chords uh, then you could play this you could play the, this bit you could play it on normal open chords D C, F, and then a B flat. Um, really, you can't really. It's you can't really play this B flat seventh without the bar. Unfortunately, uh, you could play a partial bar. Just bar the first three strings. Three strings on the first fret bar. Third finger on the third fret of the fourth string, and pinky on the third fret of the second and then just move your pinky to the 4th fret, OK? You could do that if you can't play the full bar, but if you play the full bar, of course, you can, you get that, you get, you get that nice B flat low note in. But, however, so there you have it, boys and girls, my um, uh, easier way of playing um, campfire version of pinball wizard okay hopefully um, it'll make sense to you to put it all together and play something like the demo did on the beginning of this video <laughs> anyway have fun bye for now